Hi everyone, this is uh, Engineer Rafi and uh, welcome again to our uh, online review for Civil Engineering Board Exam. And uh, this is now part 4 of uh, our topics for Integral Calculus. The first, we already discussed about uh, how to integrate using calculator. The second is the area bounded by curves. And the third one is centroids. And this is now the fourth one, length of curve. And length of arc, or the length of curve. Okay, let's say for example, uh, we have this curve. Okay, and uh, given the equation of this curve, what is the length from this point to that point? We are interested of this length using integration okay our formula is uh, s integral of x1 x2 square root of 1 plus y prime okay the derivative of this equation squared okay so this is our formula. Let's have an example. Given the curve y equals 2x raised to 3 halves plus 1, find the length from x equals 0 and x equals 6. Okay. So here, um, yeah, here no need to graph. Only uh, have directly. For, for our equation integral of x1 x2 your x1 is this one x2 is 6 square root of 1 plus y prime squared okay now what is our y prime y is equal to 2x raised to 3 halves plus 1 so the derivative of this function that is 2 third, ah yeah, sorry, 3 halves times 2, okay, 3 halves times 2, that is 3, 3x raised to 3 over 2 minus 1, okay, 3 halves minus 1, okay, 3 halves minus 1, that is 1 half, 1.5, 1 half. And the derivative of a constant that is zero. Okay, so this is our y prime. So let's substitute this into our equation. Integral of x1 that is zero to six square root of one plus y prime three x raised to one half raised to square. Okay, now using calculator integral of uh, square root of 1 plus plus open parenthesis 3 alpha x raised to 1 half or that is 0.5 okay that's the same and then raise 2 okay raise 2 2 and then put the limit 0 to 6 equals Okay, so let's just uh, wait for the answer. Sometimes it takes uh, 30 seconds. Okay, while waiting for the answer, just double check your solution. Okay, so this is applicable. This formula is applicable uh, to any questions. So the answer is 30.14. Uh, we don't have the choices. Okay, so the answer is 30.14. Okay, next. Another example. Find the length of the arc x squared plus y squared equals 64. And... Uh, between x equals negative 1 and x equals negative 3 in the second quadrant. So this 
equation this is equation of a circle okay and uh, the equation of a circle and the radius is at 8 8 times 8 64 okay squared x squared plus y squared 8 squared so the radius is 8 okay so now this is a circle at center 0 0 and the radius is 8 now uh, we are interested to between x equals negative 1 and then negative 3 Just a minute, I will just draw the circle make it more clearer. Okay, so the radius is at 8, 0, the so therefore this is negative 8 and this is 8 and uh, now this is negative 1 and negative 3 this point. Okay. So this length of the curve on the second quadrant only, no need for the other one. Okay, on the second quadrant. So now uh, our formula is S that's equal to integral of x1, x2, square root of 1 plus y prime squared. The first derivative. Okay. So the derivative of uh, x squared plus y squared is equal to 64. That is 2x plus 2y, y prime, that is 0. Derivative of constant, that is 0. So 2y, y prime, that is equal to negative 2x. Divide both sides by, uh, side by negative uh, 2y. So we have y prime and uh, negative x over y. So substitute this in our equation. Okay, but wait. This is in terms of the x and uh, y. Okay, it cannot be integrated with y. So replace y. X squared is plus y squared that is equal to 64 your y squared is uh, equal to 64 minus x squared your y will be square root of 64 minus x squared this is our value of y okay so first thing is to sub substitute uh, this in our equation integral of from negative okay our limit is uh, negative 3 negative 1 so from negative 3 to negative 1 okay negative 3 to negative 1 square root of 1 plus minus x minus x over y the value of y is this 60 square root of 64 minus x squared and then we will square it again okay like this so we can solve this by calculator integral of square root 1 plus close open parenthesis and then fraction negative alpha x over square root of 64 minus alpha x squared and then raise to 2 limit is from negative 3 to 3 I sorry negative 3 to negative 1 equals okay. so let's just wait the answer is 2.07 2.07 and we have letter Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching and uh, that's all. Thank you.